What's going on everybody? Alex here at Nickens Lawn and Landscape. In today's video, we're going to teach you how to install or repair an irrigation head. So when you're doing irrigation, you have your main line in the ground, which is usually some sort of PVC, and then coming off of that, you have your poly pipe. Now your poly pipe runs all through the ground, and your heads actually come off of this poly. So what you have to do, you have a saddle, which if you're repairing a broken one, this should already be in there, but you have a saddle if you're installing a new one. So what happens is you pop this on the poly, so it goes on there, and then you kind of set it where you want it, and then you give it a good push, and you'll hear it click. Once it clicks, you know you're good, and once it clicks, you can still rotate it, you can still slide it a little bit, but it's just a little more difficult. But once you've got that on there, then you've got this piece. And this piece will screw in here, and it will actually puncture the poly pipe, and then the water comes right through the bottom of this. So this will puncture and go into the pipe, and then this is how the water exits the pipe and gets into the head. So you put this in here, Keep screwing and then you feel this kind of bottom out or click into place too. Right there and then it won't go anymore. So once it hits that, you know you're good. And then coming off of this, off this is called a saddle. So coming off of your saddle, you have your flexible pipe, your funny pipe, whatever you want to call it. But that just pushes on here. You don't need any kind of crimps or anything. The pressure holds this and if you want to take this thing off, if you're doing a repair, you gotta take a razor knife and you gotta cut this to get it off there. You won't be able to pull it off. You're gonna end up kinking this. So cut that with the razor knife, pull it off. Like I said, if you're doing a, just a new install, all you gotta do is slip it on there. So once you've got this assembled, the only thing you have left is your head. Your head should come assembled like this. This is a Rainbird 5000. It doesn't matter what kind of head it is but then you've got your threaded part on the bottom of your head and you've got this plastic 90 or this PVC 90. So you'll put that in, just get that good and snug by hand. There's no kind of slot for a wrench or anything. It's just all by hand. So get that tight on there. And then all you gotta do is slide this 90 into this flex hose. Get that on there all the way and same thing as with the saddle there's no crimps so once you get that on there you are fully complete and this is what it'll look like it'll obviously be in the ground but this is your irrigation setup you have your main PVC pipe which breaks off to this poly pipe and then coming off of the poly pipe is gonna be a bunch of these saddles and a bunch of this funny pipe going to a head now some of these saddles there's different ones that the head can come directly off it so if your pipes right where you want it to be you can put one of these saddles on here and just have the head come directly up. It's just a different uh, adapter piece right here. Does pretty much the exact same thing, but instead of having to have this flexible tube going to where you need the head, the head will just come straight up. So those are nice, it does make it a little bit quicker, but a lot of times you're gonna have to use this funny pipe or this flexible pipe and uh, put the head wherever you need it to go. You can kind of make it, make it do what you need it to do. Uh, get it to corners, get it to curbs, things like that. But this is pretty much it, guys. It's not much to it, uh, but you do have to have the right parts. If you don't have these saddles, you don't have these, this uh, flexible pipe and these 90s and things like that, you're not going to be able to do it. So if you're going in to do a repair, I would suggest digging it up, figure out exactly what you need, shutting the water off, of course. Um, dig it up, figure out exactly what's broken or what's leaking, and then go from there. That's pretty much it, guys. There's not really much more to it than that. Um, but like I said, you do have to have the right parts. If you don't have to have the right parts, don't even attempt it but it's not too difficult. I think anybody can do it. Anybody with a little bit of knowledge and a nice shovel should be able to do this repair. That's all for this one, guys. Hope this helped you out if you're doing an install or you're doing a repair. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.